No, you don't see him anymore today. Freeze him on. All right. Calling case number 15005121, the People versus Michelle Blair. This matters before the court for sentencing. Here's the police. Karen Gold, Your Honor, appearing on behalf of the people. Go ahead, Mr. Harris. Good morning, Your Honor. Wyatt Harris, P54891, on behalf of Michelle Blair. She stands to my right. Okay, Mr. Harris, have you had an opportunity to go over the pre-sentence report with your client? I have, Your Honor. Any additions, corrections, or deletions? There are none, Your Honor. Okay. Anything from the people, any victim impact statements to be made? I will state for the record that I did receive a statement from Alexander Dorsey. Is that correct? It says, Dear Alexander Dorsey. But is this a statement from Alexander Dorsey? Your Honor, it is an, a statement from Alexander Dorsey, who is the father of, of the, one of the deceased children, and Stoney, and, and one of the surviving children. And the, it is also a statement that combines um, some other members of Mr. Dorsey's family's statements. Okay. And uh, for the record, I did provide a copy of that to Mr. Harris. Okay. I acknowledge receiving that. Any other victim impact statements from the people? Yeah, only, Your Honor, I just, I want the evidence, the record to be clear that there is no evidence in this case that any of the younger children or the younger child was sexually abused. Abundant evidence that the surviving children were physically abused by this defendant. That's a lie. My son's own mouth. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, 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 Ms. Blair. I, you noticed the speaker that we had set up in the back. Hold on, hold on, hold on. 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 H
some unspeakable things to each other. With the lack of support that she had as a child and the lack of support that she had from any of the fathers of these people, and I'm not making an excuse for her, but that didn't allow her to uh, cope with the situation in a way that many of us would have obviously chosen different options. What angers me the most, I think, is is no way in the world, as a father, I would allow anybody to not let me see my children for years. There are always options. They could have asked for a welfare check with the police, could have went back to CPS, could have went to the school system, could have done a number of things. I suspect, in, in all reality, it wasn't a situation where Michelle Blair was saying you couldn't see the children. It was a situation where they chose not to see the children. Over two years, you don't get to see your child. That makes absolutely no sense. If you really wanted to see your child, you could go to the court. I understand that there, are, there were uh, child support issues. Go to the court. Say, yeah, I know I owe child support, but yes. I understand that, but I still haven't seen my child, and I want to know what the situation is with my children. <clears throat> this is an unfortunate, very unfortunate uh, situation. Um, Ms. Blair has made her statements both here and in juvenile, and on several occasions to me. Um, I would just, uh, as the court has to, sentence her to uh, life in prison uh, without parole. She is accepting responsibility for her actions. Thank you. Okay. Ms. Blair, this is the time to take some sentence in. Is there anything you'd like to say on your own behalf? I actually, they want to, they said they want to make an impact statement. I actually want to make a statement to them. Go. This is the time for you to say anything you want. Go ahead. Okay. Um, I actually got a chance to, my lawyer actually read the impact statement to me, mm -hmm. and there's been a lot of lies told by that family. What doesn't make sense, they're saying that his main defense in my family trial, uh, in my family trial, that I kept him away from the kids, which is a lie. Tracy, Dorsey, Alexander Dorsey, Curtis Steen, Albert, Adam, Michelle, they haven't seen them how long? Since 2006? Alexander Dorsey went from 2008, 9, and 10 without seeing his daughters. So they, they, it's, it's, it's six of them as brothers and sisters, the aunties and uncles. And they want to talk about how they loved my daughters. Now they want to be front and center, but they was always in the background. They never did anything for them, never showed up to my door, not once. And now they want to lie and say that I kept them away. I am the one that was always calling Duke. That's his nickname. Duke, come see Gabby and Stoney. Duke, come do this. Duke, come do this. Would he come? No. Half the time he was drunk. You get what I'm saying? I am the only one throughout both these cases. I haven't lied about anything. As horrendous as everybody think I am, that's fine. But I'm the only one that's not lying about anything. And that doesn't even make sense in any type of world. That they would allow, what, what type of real man going to let somebody keep them away from their kids? And what I don't understand, what they don't, what they don't understand about is we have a surviving daughter. Gabrielle is witness to me always calling, dude, come see the kids. Dude, even their mother, Linda Dorsey, she never did anything for the kids. She never came to see them. She never did anything. My daughter even called one year to talk to her about Duke and his drinking. She tired of every time he come over, he drunk. And when he comes, it's just, hey, baby, spilling over, just drunk, just stupid. You get what I'm saying? As a grandmother, you would think that she would talk to her granddaughter. The only thing, my daughter put it on speakerphone, the only thing that grandmother had to say was, well, baby, I'm going to let you go because Duke is still my son, and I'm not going to listen to you talk to him about. That's your granddaughter, and she coming to you about your son. That's all you had to offer her. You get what I'm saying? From the time I lived in that house, what they're not saying is, they used to always go over there. I kept you away. What was the change? They used to go over there all the time. What stopped and what they all know to be true is Alexander Dorsey's father, Alexander Sr., he was, they say, he molested Brianna. That is his other granddaughter, okay? So in 2006, when my daughter Gabrielle came home and told me that he was laying in their room on the floor by their bed, they never went back again. That's what stopped every visit to their house in 2006. 
I never sent them back there again because of that reason. But I never kept them away from them. Y'all can come see them anytime you want to. You see what I'm saying? And also, Alexander Dorsey could not accept the fact that I moved on, period. I had other kids. He has his ex-girlfriend, Michelle Barnett, lying in court, saying they brought diapers. The first time that Michelle Barnett laid eyes on my daughters was in, what, 2005? They were six and eight, which means they were well out of diapers. They're talking about food and money. Come on, now. Nah. They did here. nothing. You're getting off track here. And I know, I know you're very resentful of the fathers, but this is really Yes, not because they trying to, I'm not trying to blame any of the actions that the kids did on the fathers. You get what I'm saying? Yep. My whole thing is, tell the truth. Y'all wasn't there. This whole family, I'm seeing faces that I ain't seen in years. They don't know Stoney. When they asked him in court, what does your daughter Stoney want to be when she grow up? He says she just wanted the world. That's a typical answer for a father who knew nothing about what she wanted to be when she grew up. He knew nothing about her. They know that he's a pissy drunk. They do nothing. And for Tracy Dorsey to be sitting in this courtroom, this is the same female that I felt like I had to get out that house. We, had, we all had babies two months apart. You used to steal her, you love your niece, but you used to steal her milk. You used to steal her milk and water it down when I told you you couldn't have it, though. You get what I'm saying? So, yes, that is why I left that household. I couldn't stay there. Again, they were pathetic. Track, this is a... The purpose of you speaking now is to discuss okay. what you did, what you did, if you want Yes, to. because that happened. You okay. get what I'm saying? And my son's forensic kids talk interview, you hear him tell them what they did to him. So in Alexander Dorsey, in the family trial, he sat there and he saw the kids talk interview. He saw my son say that. The judge even said, out of my son's own mouth, everyone heard him say what they did to him. So for them to be sitting there, oh, you just did that because of, yeah, I got my ass beat when I was a kid. Yes, I was raped when I was a child. Am I blaming that on them? No. This should happen to my kid. You get what I'm saying? Alexander's daughter, Stoney, that is not my daughter. She did do that to them. So, you know, so it's like, get back. That whole Dorsey family, they're pathetic. And I feel like this. You know flat out that Alexander Dorsey, y'all let, let this Alexander Dorsey, you let him come back and forth and be around them kids when you know damn well he molested one granddaughter before. It wasn't about Alexander Dorsey. Everybody's making about me saying that I kept them away from the kids. I never did. Okay. Well, the so that'll come out here. July 27th when my daughter here, get up there. So I don't know why the they're acting like daughter. it's not going to come out. This isn't about Alexander Dorsey. Do you have anything I'm talking say? about his father. They're trying to say, you know how I kept him away? I stopped those visits because that man was in that house. If he was already basically, you knew what he did to his, da his granddaughter, uh, Brianna. So why even let him in the house? Just because he blamed it on being a drunk? Come on now. Like father, like, like son. Come on, man. Stay focused here. Do you have anything else you want to say with respect to this case? I want to say this prosecutor, I can't see your face, but I wish I could. You disgust me. The Dorsey family disgusts me because how dare you say that didn't happen to my son. You weren't there. Y'all was never there. You were the absentee people. Always. So the Dorsey family, down to the mother, to the father, to everybody. I hope y'all live y'all life well without seeing my child, Gabrielle Blair. You lived well without seeing them throughout their whole life, so live well now. But you ain't got nothing to say to me for what I did for my child, period. All right. Ms. Blair, it's obvious that you're still very angry. Because how dare she say that? How dare okay. she say it's no it's, evidence? It's my turn to talk. It's my turn to talk. I gave you an opportunity to speak. As a mother, one of your primary responsibilities was to protect your kids. And in that respect, you failed in the worst possible way. There's nothing that can be done at this point to change what happened. True. That's why I'm asking for life. I know. Uh, and thankfully, that house of horrors that you created is no longer in existence. I do pray that your remaining children... They will. ...will recover. They will. ...from what they saw and endured in that household... What struck me as rather unnerving was that you stated that your kids got it better than what you had. I fail to see how that's possible when you're still here. You're, you're talking here. about you're talking no, about the deceased children. Not, no, let me talk. It's you. Despite what happened to you when you were a child, you had the opportunity to grow up. True. You had the opportunity to become an adult. You had the opportunity to make your own decisions with respect to running your own life. And you, you were blessed with four children. Stoney and Stephen are never going to have that. They don't have those same opportunities. And when I think about 
all of the possible joys that they could be missing out on, one thing that strikes me as the greatest tragedy here is that they will never know what a life is like without experiencing fearing their mother. They will never know the joy of what could have been in their life without having you in it. They lived in terrible fear of you. And I find that just so sad in this case. Uh, after all is said and done, you imposed the death penalty on your own children. I did. And you readily admit it, and you want to take responsibility of it. You're therefore sentenced to the Michigan Department of Corrections for the rest of your life without the possibility of parole, meaning, of course, that you will never get out. You you will yes. You will receive credit for 115 days. You must pay $60, $60 DNA fee, excuse me, $136 state costs, crime victims assessment in the amount of $130, court costs in the amount of $1,300, attorney's fees in the amount of $400. These are not consecutive sentences because you weren't advised of that at the plea taking procedure. Since this was a conviction by plea though, ma'am, you have the right to file an application for leave to appeal your conviction. I don't need any of that. Okay, with the Court of Appeals, I still have to advise you. If you can't afford an attorney, one will be appointed for you and furnished with the necessary transcripts, and that request must be made within 42 days. I tender the... Your Honor. Oh, go ahead. With, with we were going to address it after. Let me... Mr. Harris, go ahead. Uh, I am tendering to the court the appellate rights and wrote in the signature area, refused, and put my initials. Okay, and that's fine. The people still have remaining counts in the information. Go ahead, Ms. Goldfarb. Your Honor, with regard to the information, the people would move to dismiss without prejudice count two, count three, or no, excuse me, count, count two and three are what she pledged to. Count one, count four, count five, count six, count seven, count eight, count nine, count ten, and count eleven of the information. And again, we are moving to dismiss without prejudice. No objection. Of course. All right. Motion granted. We can step back. Thank you. Thank you.